Hey guys, Tim and Jason here. J you're looking at Jason and I'm behind the camera, Tim. Uh, we want to talk to you today about using our shop press to stamp uh, our uh, stamps into metal. Uh, we get a lot of questions on that. And by the way, uh, check out our newly launched website on the knife blacksmith section and you'll see a lot of inf good information. It's general information, but information about uh, cold stamping, hot stamping, or stamping with the press. But today we're going to talk about stamping with the press. Uh, we have a 20 ton shop press here. I'm going to kind of zoom around and kind of give you a, a bit of a shot at this press. You can see the handle down there. You can see the ram. And what I love here is the gauge. Okay. So the beauty of working with uh, a shop press is that for a given stamp and for a given metal type that you're using, uh, you can get this dialed in uh, to know exactly what tonnage is required and you can get a perfect stamping on your knife blade or any other uh, metal or, or, or material you're stamping. So, um, well, typically a shop press will come with uh, a nose on it. Jason, you want to point to that nose? Um, let's see here. Okay, so that nose, um, we'll come back to that a little bit later, but right now we're going to show you what we do. Uh, we've made a little jig. Uh, we take the nose out. Let's take a look at this jig. So for safety reasons, uh, we have a front and a back on there, just so that way nothing can fly out um, and get you in the eye. <laughs> Super. Okay, and then so we this will obviously fit up in the nose, as Jason's going to show you right now, or up into the ram, I should say. Okay, so. Uh, we'll take a stamp. We make most of our stamps four inches long, and that seems to work well for uh, hot stamping, cold stamping, etc. Uh, go ahead and set that up, Jason, and show a stamping here. So you can see we've got these set screws on the side that uh, allow us to use a, a wide range of stamps with varying uh, widths and thicknesses. Okay, so we got it in there. The holder keeps that stamp nice and square. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make a stamping for you. Uh, this, this one will be on aluminum, but uh, uh, you go right into any annealed steel with this. We'll, it'll require a little bit less tonnage uh, on this one because it's aluminum. Get it lined up on your blade or whatever else you're stamping. And let's see what you got there, Jason. This one's a pre-done one that we had before. We've colored it in just to emphasize it. Hang in there, I haven't really got focused yet. Well, I'm not getting a good focus. Um, we'll keep trying. Well, I'm struggling with focus, but that's okay. Uh, we'll move on. Um, so anyway, uh, it's really pretty simple. The, uh, the piece that we're using, the uh, holder, um, uh, we had that made specific, specifically to our design. And if you wanted some uh, guidelines on how to put something like that together for yourself, we'd be happy to speak with you about that. Um, but um, you don't necessarily need that. Why don't you take that uh, holder out, Jason, and just demonstrate that you could stamp with just the ram. You, for bigger pieces, and we make uh, bigger pieces, two to three inch pieces, uh, oftentimes that we put on a flat plate die for people stamping metal, uh, blacksmiths or whatever. Uh, this is a 20 ton press, which isn't enough to stamp something like that. You need somewhere between 30 and 50 tons to, to stamp into a meal steel or something that's uh, two and a half, three inches wide. But, the, the point here is that you can just simply come down on top of a flat plate die as well, no holder required in that case. Yeah, okay, so, so you're coming down on top of the stamp, great, but show them the flat plate die just to illustrate. Flat plate die. Yeah, yeah. and just show them the back side, so, oh, I wasn't zeroed in on that. Go ahead and show them the side profile. Yeah. And then you just come down right on top of that. Yeah. Yeah, you might need something to boost this up a little more. We're using just a big old block of 01 saw. 
So there's different shop presses out there. Um, uh, we actually brought this one in. Uh, we imported this one, but Dake is a good brand, and, and there's others. Might set you back um, somewhere between five and eight hundred dollars, depending on the tonnage you get, ten to twenty ton. Uh, for most knife stamps, uh, twenty ton is going to be plenty. If you're going real big, like uh, some blacksmiths do, or other people do with really big pieces, you're going to need something more than twenty ton. But not many people do that. So, hey, listen, uh, check us out at SteelStampsInc.com. This is Jason and Tim. Uh, really appreciate you. I'll zoom out and Jason had a real close up of your face. Uh, we really appreciate you uh, checking us out though. Thanks a lot. Thanks Take guys. Care.